Infectious diseases that afflict millions of, Af of people throughout Africa are dominating research and treatment efforts. A uh, global health conference this week here in Washington is raising concern and awareness of non-communicable disease illnesses that often overburden African families and health systems. Messages on avoiding contracting HIV, TB or malaria are yielding results based on United Nations figures. But now, the UN and the World Health Organization are raising the alarm about smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, poor nutrition, and physical inactivity, all factors in leading causes of death like heart and lung disease, diabetes, and cancer. Dr. Francis Omaswa of Uganda is one of more than 2,000 participants of the 38th Annual International Conference on Global Health in Washington, which addressed these diseases. We've been given the impression that uh, eating uh, sugar food and the fried food is the way forward, and yet we have first-class African food, which uh, we lived on without having to be exposed to diseases like uh, diabetes and coronary artery disease. Tobacco is also going to become a major issue in Africa and it is connected directly with the number of cancers. According to experts, non-communicable diseases or NCDs account for 60% of the total deaths in the world. Africa is predicted to witness the largest number of these deaths by 2015. NCDs are often chronic, needing long-term care, straining health systems and economies. While awareness is building, it has not resulted in massive funding to fight the disease in developing countries, says Jeffrey Sturchio of the Global Health Council, which organized the conference. Three out of five deaths in the world come from non-communicable disease, and four-fifths of those deaths are in developing countries. They say, well, even if it is a problem, it's impossible to do anything about it. We don't have the resources, we don't know what works. Um, uh, and the answer to that is, well, we know what works, we just don't have the will and the creativity to actually find ways to get those solutions to the people who need them. Sturchio says part of the conference's objectives is to find solutions to the NCD crisis. Several of the participants from Africa say they are ahead of the game. African uh, health ministries are now creating desks, uh, positions on non-communicable diseases which they did not have before. Uh, so that uh, uh, national policies on uh, non-communicable diseases are crafted and implemented. Sierra Leone's chief medical officer, Dr. Kisito Shekudao, says they've even established a directorate in his ministry, especially to address NCDs. We found out, for instance, that very many young people, much younger than we ever thought, were hypertensive. Of course, there is the whole issue of tobacco, and use of alcohol or abuse of alcohol. And then, of course, there is diabetes that is coming up very, very uh, strong in these co countries. Of course, there is also the issue of ob obesity. Other visiting delegates say they are addressing NCDs with effective strategies used to fight AIDS. South Africa's Dr. Mongani Mayosi says a multi-sectoral approach worked in fighting AIDS. It became quite clear that a health service that is based on vertical programs that is segregated into clinics for people with HIV and AIDS, clinics for people with TB, and clinics with different resources was not equitable. So there is now a campaign to ensure that people with chronic diseases are treated to the same standard of care. Dr. Jemima Kamono of Kenya says lack of funding for NCDs, unlike AIDS, which has the Global Fund and PEPFA, results in poor awareness. In resource-constrained settings, we are not going to make any difference if we are going to sit in our clinics and wait for patients to walk in. Because by the time they walk in, 85% of them, if it's diabetics, already have hypertension. 78% of them have kidney failure. So what exactly are we going to do for them? We must go out and get them before they get the complications. And that's why screening for us is key. In September, the United Nations will host high-level meetings on the prevention and control of non-communicable -commun disease in New York.